we have an elevator that is moving up with a constant acceleration w0 inside that we have a pulley that is hanging by a by a thread and on the both sides of the pulley we have masses m1 and m2 we need to find the acceleration of m1 relative to shaft which is nothing but ground and relative to the car so car is the elevator itself and then we need to find the force exerted by the pulley on the ceiling so the tension here is t and t the here the the tension is 2t so we need to find what is that value first let's find what is the acceleration of m1 relative to the car and relative to the ground so these questions always it's best to do with respect to the car itself so our reference frame is car so car is at rest which means we need to put a pseudo force on both the masses so it is the acceleration of the car is w not up so pseudo force will be down and m1 times w not on m1 and m2 times w not on m2 so now this motion we can analyze with respect to the car so let's say the acceleration of the masses with respect to car is a relative so m1 let's assume it's coming down and m2 is then going up with the same acceleration and the tension in the strings let that be t t tension is independent of uh, reference frames so we can just write them as t and then we have of course m1g and m2g so let's write the equation of motion on both of them so we'll do f is equal to ma on m1 so m1g plus m1 w0 minus t is equal to m1 into a relative similarly for second block we'll write so we'll eliminate tension because we want a relative so we will get this but in the book the answer is given in vector form so let's write that in vector form so we'll write each of these terms a relative g and w0 in terms of vectors so for that we need to assume a direction so let's assume upwards to be positive because he has given w0 upwards as as positive so let's assume in the same direction as positive so now a relative so in our assumption we have taken a relative as downwards so here in vector form it will be minus a relative and g is downwards again so with our assumption again g will be minus g vector and w0 is upwards so it will be simply plus w0 so this is the a relative now let's talk about acceleration of 1 with respect to ground so that will be simply a of 1 with respect to car plus acceleration of car so this is a relative so we have written all that in vector form already plus w0 vector so if you solve this you will get this now force exerted by the pulley on the ceiling so if these tensions are t so on m1 t is upwards on this thread however so thread is pulling the elevator down with the force 2t and that's what he's asking the force exerted by the pulley on the ceiling so it is 2t downwards so first let's find t first so here we can again do the f is equal to ma on m1 alone and actually basically using this equation also we can get it but simpler way because we have already calculated one with respect to ground let's write it write, write it as t plus m1g vector is equal to m1 into a1 with respect to g vector so here we are writing it in vector form so we are just writing t vector plus m1 into g vector so it's see here if we are writing without vector it will be t m1g minus t is equal to m into a relative sorry it will be so if we are not writing the pseudo force it will be m1g minus t is equal to m1 into a so but here we are writing in vector form so total force is equal to ma total force is t vector plus m1 into g vector and that is equal to m1 into net acceleration in vector form so from here we get t vector is equal to m1 
So we'll take the this side and we'll put the value of a1 with respect to ground here and that will be the t vector. Now force by pulley on the ground. So t vector on this m1 is upwards. So this t vector which we have formed, which, which we have uh, derived is written for this m1 equation. So here it is, we have assumed t to be upwards. So t vector is also upwards. Force on the pulling is downwards. So 2t, so our answer which we need is minus 2t vector, which will give our answer. So problem is, uh, in the, I mean, the problem is quite simple, but when you're writing in vector form, you need to be very careful how you write these terms. So I suggest you uh, get this whole thing, thing through hand at least twice until you get all these three correct answers.